How's it going, everyone? Back with another stream today. We're playing some more Black Day and Rock and Pioneer, and we're going to be trying some new cards from um, Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Um, the first card we're trying out is Caustic Bronco. This is a card that has been um, wonderfully acclaimed in the Discord. Uh, it's a, a pretty much a Dark Confidant S card, two mana, two power creature, uh, where if you get to untap with it, essentially you get to gain card advantage. Uh, but instead of an upkeep trigger, this is an attack trigger, so you can actually control uh, if you want to draw the card or not, essentially. Um, so whenever this attacks with a top card of your library and you put it in your hand, then you lose life equal to that card's mana value. Um, otherwise, and then if it's saddled, each opponent loses that much life. Instead. So, uh, this card is interesting. Uh, this is definitely a card there that, you know, demands a removal spell, and then you untap it, it's pretty good. And another card that we're going to try out that people have seemed to like at the Discord is uh, two mana discard, and it's kind of like a minus two minus two effect. Uh, but then if you can play for five mana, it has a five four menace on top of it, so it has a little bit more of a um, uh, oh my gosh, I can't remember that card, the uh, adventure black spell um, that turns into a Depter's Nail. Um, it's kind of like that effect, but I mean, you can activate this at instant speed, which is going to be real helpful against the, the slick shot bird uh, that's been kind of taking over multiple formats now. So uh, we'll be uh, seeing how these two changes go. Uh, we're just kind of trying out, you know, small changes with um, most of the same shell that I've liked. So we'll see how it goes, and we'll go from there. <laughs> okay. Can't really go to five. Basic Mountain Go. Interesting. We're going to just keep drawing lands. Skewer, Skewer, Wizard Lightning. I'll take the creature. I I've, I've been playing like one match for arena and I you're right there is a lot of slick shots. Um Golly. I'll probably besage you this. So I guess I'll play Mutable first. Because um, they already have like Ramanap, blah blah blah, like they're not going to be hamstrung on mana. So I'll probably just push if they play something. I wonder if that wizard lightning me. The hand is skewer plus wizard lightning, so I'll do this. It's fine. Uh... Oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, I will block with this Muta Vault. And then I can besage you this side um this session later. The Hellbents. Uh 
Game two. <laughs> Game two. Love the main phase. The F6 value from our opponent is real. Scavenging Goose. Scavenging Goose. I'm going to leave my lair back to block. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. If they draw a land, this doesn't do anything. I'm trying to figure out if I can activate this Rustless Cottage. And attack. Next turn, I can crack the food and cycle this. Kill this. Draw land, 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 land. If they have a creature, it's like whatever. I think I have to like go for the winning line. They did not draw land. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, um, I mean, knee jerk reaction is to hi Luna. Knee jerk reaction is to board in the sweepers. Hey, baby. They had Wizard Lightning, Kumano, light up the stage. Maybe this is a match where like we just don't want the thought seizes. Trim a shielded. Maybe we don't even want Caustic Bronco either again though. That's cover testing, but we'll trim one. Why did we flood Luna? Why did we only draw lands this game? Explain that to me. Next turn, I can go Dread Knight plus Push. It's 
fire. Light up the stage. Okay. Shelly's good. So the next turn we can play Glissa, and then the following turn we can go Shield Guard. Are they going to do another Wizard's Lightning? Okay. So I'm kind of tempted to just um, Dread Whispers here, kind of grind it out. Can I just fight through the removal? I need to draw out rule of spells. Um, next, we can go Glissa. Okay, it's a 2 3. Or 3 3, sorry. How about another fatal push off the top? Okay. I wonder if I want to duress or if I want to push. I guess I could just duress first, and then if the quote unquote coast is clear, I can just play Dread Knight. Okay. So then I will play this. That's the red virtue, it seems like. So I can besage you this. Play land. I can also besage you this. Uh, I will actually besage you this. <laughs> That card looks mad scary. Okay. 
I think I'll be conservative here. Cool. This happens when we actually draw an, an, a proportionate amount of spells versus lands. <laughs> versus only lands. Hi, baby. It's a lot of trophies. Can't really see another removal, right? Well, we can, because it seems like if this is our only mana source, so that's good. This is our only mana source. Nope, never mind. They drew the second one. Okay. Is that going to play at the stage? I just like daddy. Um, I guess I kind of have to trophy. If you do the exclamation tech list, it'll come up, I think. Uh, how about an untap land off the top? For this Liliana that wants to see play. Untap land. Uh... Wow. I think we're dead. We are dead. Not that, like, this Lily, I want to take it over. They could just play this and attack it down. But then, like, we'd have the Thurland next, so we can go duress, take a lightning uh, trophy, and we'd just be in a better spot to stabilize, versus now they just have complete board. Uh, uh, like, they have the board. Um... God, we need that last turn so bad. So if they, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need to trophy this. I mean, color ritual isn't going to do anything when I <laughs> I can't even draw my third one. <laughs> All right, so they're not going to come on on main phase. Interesting. 
Global Browser Binding. Double wizard library. I wonder why they didn't um, just do this pre-main because they got an they cut an extra damage. It actually would have been dead. If they just cast this first. Not that I don't think we can do anything because they just have another haste. Oh wait! Oh, this is the card that they cast. My bad. Like I would, I think both of us would much rather play against the modern red version. Um, but it'd be interesting to see where it shakes out. Um, you know, in the next month or two. The mirror? Are we against the mirror? About to go O2 against the mirror? Maybe? A little mirror action? I'll probably try to untap with Shelly. I was I was going to Lily on a plus, but I kind of want since I drew this, I kind of want to carve out. Could be wrong. Reckoner, Bake Buster. Okay, if that's the case. I will slam a Shelly. Oh, they have go for the Satch. I want a trophy of this, but I, I, I don't think I should. Bang. If only a decay, absolutely. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. So they're stuck on two. They're gonna discard a card. Dark petition. Interesting. Okay. No land. Sorry about it. Discarded Ash. Uh, what is happening? God, this cottage hits so hard. <laughs> uh, okay. Seasons pass. Dress. Ren. I'm assuming the push has come out. Uh, do I board in the hearses? Oh, it doesn't target. That's what's annoying. That's, that's pretty annoying. Yeah, I think so too. I think the harvester is bad.
if there's ever a matchup where Bronco is good, it's probably this one. <laughs> Discard into Bronco. <laughs> go for the throat. I can see Charmaine go for the throat. Sure. We have enough room. It's kind of the same thought process. <sighs> oh, there, Bob sees me. Take Lissa. Scavenging. I'm going to take my Shelly now. And take my Skews. Take my Shelly. Do you have the push? If you do, I think this game is over. If you do. Best draw we could have asked for, I think. <laughs> We're right back in it, boys. We're right back in it. <laughs> oh, they have this castle, though, so we're probably fucked, but, you know. Take three, go to 11, okay. Okay, okay. Uh oh. Uh, that was a pretty good top deck. They know about this throat, I believe. Oh. Kind of don't care about that. <laughs> this red eye's so good. I don't think this thoughts. I think this thought sees is a blank, but I could just discard it. I think this. I think this thought sees is a blank. I'm like fairly confident, so I'll just discard this silver. Okay, okay. Lily down. Uh, I think I want to play those green. Yeah. 
Thank you, Mark. Just slam a children. Just slam a children. Just play something. Oh, they're not even gonna besiege in my castle. Interesting. Got it. The extinction event that sucks. Oh. Okay. Okay. So kill that. Destroy that. They go to one. With the hive. One is not zero. They play Takamiba. So they have six mana. Okay, so any removal spell wins. Trophy, Cottage. So if they draw nothing, this hive wins. Oh my god. <laughs> they keep top decking this dark petitions, man. <laughs> Man. Okay.
We we both need to just learn how to top deck like that. Pretty good, pretty good. <clears throat> Thoughtsies and Citra Knight is ideal. This pathway is kind of awkward though. If I draw a third land here, I'm going to just play this as a threat. If I don't, I'm going to Dread Whispers. Just gonna gonna go aggro. This card that they drew. I could Ren, they go blank, I discard Trophy plus Duress, and I can go Liliana. I don't hate this. Oh, they're planning to go blank my... That's fine. So I can go blank my... Dread it away. It's fine. Castle. Now that we're hellbent, can just. So we know all the cards in their hand. Let's say Jew. Oh yeah, the veil. Spread their keys. <clears throat> so we have double walkers going. They made talking to my end step. Raska. That's pretty good. I'm assuming they'll take out my Ren here. They may take out Lily. I hope they take out Ren. Oh no, they take out Ren. I was hoping they wouldn't take out Ren is what I meant to say.
draw here, scavenging news, unlicensers. The instance of sorcerers right now. It's a close game. Hey, Cottage. Push. Creature. Take out the last dark. And Eternal Octomate Castle. <clears throat> oh, they just take a little late. I'm so stupid. I should just ultimate last turn. I just totally missed that. Wow. I'm so bad at this game. Oh, they drew Shielder too. I should just ultimate last turn. I got so greedy. I just forgot that they can just do Maester again. Okay. Well, better lucky than good, I guess. I don't want them to gain any life, I think. Par man, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, does it matter? I guess if they have another Takanuma, but they already have one. We have one Scooze left. I'm not sure if that matters or not. Close game, though. Close game. But it doesn't want to let me on top. Wow. That was a good draw. I'll play Scoos first, though. I could have rend and then scooze, but I kind of want to like this gets up puts the most damage. Sure. Cool, cool, cool. Galissa, baby. 
I wonder if they'll on some sort of slip shot variant. Okay! <clears throat> some sort of convoke attack. I guess I'll just convoke. I'll save the damage. Collector's Cage. Okay. This is where Glissa looks pretty good, I think. Well, worst case scenario, we also just like the Seiju, the collector's cage. Caustic Bronco. Exactly the card that we wanted. Let's see how good this card is, huh? I agree. Uh, I, I feel like maybe it's more of a sidebar card, because like... I would much, I'm like less scared of this and more scared of just like them having like their turn two just like vomiting more shit into the side in the board is like way more scary, right? Like I'm kind of not scared of this. Trophy. Do I have to push this? I think I'll wait. I think I'll besage you this now. <laughs> okay. Six, eight, nine, twelve. Well, I'm not beating this card, so it didn't really matter. Play this. <clears throat> we survive. We uh, go to three. They get to get a redraw. So. Okay, we need a shielded. A Glissa's good. <laughs> well, 
Only lands. We need to dodge the haste creature. Um, so, just board in the sweepers here. Don't like Brocco in this matchup at all. Don't like Lily. Duress is dead. Um, the first using the first push wouldn't really have mattered, but I think I agree with you, Primeman. I think the first push was incorrect. Maybe I trim a Shelly. Just too many fours. That's what I normally do. How's it going, Jesse? Sliding over from watching you. No one tap black source is kind of annoying, but Bronco was kind of awkward in this matchup too. Okay. Our deck is definitely not set up to uh, be convoked just because we're not really accounting for it so Top with the wood in a scary. Uh, we kind of need a black source here. So we'll push this. Am I settling this baby? I guess so. We'll be aggro. Yeehaw! <laughs> they took four. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious hilarious <laughs> caught a black source off the top Oh, that's hilarious. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, we're we're still kind of fucked, so... <laughs> that was a pretty good draw. Six. I think I play defense here. Shock. Uh -oh. oh, my God.
Pretty good. I'll keep this hand. Now we're against vampires. They took my monster dread knight. Okay. Is this gonna be one of those games where we just draw lands? It will be, huh? Let that register. Well, they can kill my Bronco. They really are inclined to. Yep, it's gonna be one of those games. <laughs> this this is um and what's just gonna be awful is like I mean just they're just less hands less lands to draw. <laughs> okay, they're not gonna kill my Bronco. Interesting. Are they gonna just vein ripper me? Oh, joy. Oh, joy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Oh, yeah, we definitely weren't winning that game. Okay. Uh, events. And then poisons, board out, scoops, trim the trophy technically, I'll trim this harvester, trim it to rest, trim a bronco or two. Honestly, it's one of those things where um, Soren isn't that bad because we have three picks and four events, or three events. So taking the Soren turn one isn't like that critical. Jesus Christ. In my opinion. Oh, I should have brought the glisses. That's the mistake I made. We also don't have a untapped land source for turn two. Try to whispers either. I'll put on this though. Because, uh, like, honestly, like, if I'm thought seizing, I would rather get rid of Vayner because that's like the bigger problem, more often than not. But in this situation, I guess I'll take the Sorn. Untap land. Damn it. Okay. Untap land. Sag. Mana base is not cooperating today in this league. <clears throat> they drew the fable, which is annoying. On top land, please. I have to play this closer. If they want to suicide their goblin into my glissa, that's fine. We have the Grove of the Throat and Assassin's Trophy. 
I'm more scared if they draw like a Soren. But this is where I really wish that the untap land I could have like start attacking with it. They just got a beautiful. Oh, they won too. Okay, so we have double removal spell, so it's not the worst. They have a fatal push, that's awkward, but. Scarred Fatal Push. Hmm. So they have Fane Ripper, three unknown. <clears throat> so they're in the abyss every turn. If they have a land, they can go attack with this, make a shaman, uh, make a make a Rin Ripper. Another favorable. Okay. I'll just throw up this reflections at end of turn. Uh, sure. I'll block. So they're in the best still. Glass is looking pretty good here. Even though I normally sideboard her out just because she dies to a Soren, but she's looking pretty good here. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna let them get a draw, redraw with this fable. Yeah, they can cast Ripper here. Um, that's why I'm saving this trophy. And not, and that's why I'm not gonna block here. Unless I had a sixth land insured, then I can just go like Dread Whispers cast Red Knight trophy. Okay. We need a Liliana off the top. Liliana off the top. Oh, they just fuck me. It's so good. Liliana off the top. 
So I can just let this draw happen. Or do I want to take two? I think I need to kill this shielder anyway. So I think I'm just going to do this. Oh, we don't we can't even play this um tapped either. Or untapped to activate. It's so bad. Man, this game has just been so awkward for us. This, this whole this specific league <laughs> has been very awkward in itself. I mean, our opponent has been playing pretty well too. They're like, they're sandbagging this Vein Ripper very nicely. Um, sure. Oh my God! <laughs> oh mercy! Nine, seven, eight, block here. We die this hive. I'll make him do it though. I'm gonna thought seize. We're, this this hive is the name of the coffin for us. Like this, <laughs> like, oh man, I would, I, I want to go turn one dress and to turn two Bronco on the play, but I can't. That's what's awkward here. But I, I think you have to just start off with dress and then just hope to hit the second land, right? And this dress doesn't hit anything. Okay, well, at least, um, we got to do something with our mana here. I would have learned to love to go turn two, Rocco. All right, Bronco. Let me bite my words. That's scary. I need to draw into a land and then hope to draw into a black source and thought seeds. Land. Cool. Bronco! Bronco!
So they just have a bunch of... <laughs> Both of my discard spells whiff this game. <laughs> Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, how much do I want to save my... Bronco. I'm okay with trading. I guess I could just attack and see what I draw here. They just have flying too. This feels so bad. Right, I think we're at a point where we just have to race. They have two power. I could make three power there. Yeah, I guess I could have settled there. I should have settled there. They take three, I'm at 13. It's a good call. I just, I just think that we are not going to win this game. We're just too far behind. I'm just going to call it here. So let's go. This is <laughs> the second match or a second color, which would have been good. Guess we born and pick your poisons. The harvester seems good here. I don't think Lily looks good here at all. Shooter looks great here. Um, maybe we can trim a Bronco, trim a Triumph, I guess. I think we're at this phase where, um, you know, people are playing, you know, trying different things. There's no established meta, so there's, I don't think there really is a point in um, trying to adapt the meta too much, I think, in my in my opinion, I think like this is this has happened like the past two sets where like we're tr people are just making these knee jerk reactions to the these new decks, and it's like nothing is settled yet. Um, like I think we just need to like, practice patience because like otherwise, if you're trying to like establish, trying to like attack what you saw in the my last league, it's just going to be a moving target. That's just not effective. We take that enchantment thing. Reality chip's a good one too. Training grounds. Man, I really want to climb a troll. Okay. So that is chip. Yeah, I think that jury is still out for Bronco for sure. I'm not saying anything about that. <sighs> I 
They have two training grounds, which is what's annoying. Is it worth besaging this? I don't think so. It's just tough because, like, you really want the events for Phoenix and Vampires, and, like, I feel like you're we're making these adjustments to be Phoenix and Vampires, and it's, like, ignoring aggro because aggro was not a thing before Outlaws. So now it's, like, it's really stretching our um, sweepers pretty tight, right? So it's I could see like I can see like the necros coming out because I haven't borrowed these in forever. So I think going like take the two necros out for like two paths, for example, I think that's fine. It just depends on like what we want, right? I mean Bronco just seems bad against Agro. For sure, right? So I think that's the thing. <laughs> they drew the darker ways. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, so at this point, I think I just need to draw a calling ritual. So I'm going to Dread Whispers, I think. I think Galissa actually forces the issue here, so I'm just going to do this. I guess the thing is, like, how often are you going to see literally Hidden Straight or Lotus Field versus generic aggro decks where Path of Peril would be better, right? So. I guess I'll just age of the Witness Protection. I think it's like you'll get more equity out of those two cyber slots being more sweepers than a Necro versus a Lotus Field. I think, I mean, I want three events for vampires. I think that's a for sure thing that I want. And then I want at least two sweepers for um, I want two paths or two congregations, right? Does that mean necessarily be six? <laughs> 15 sweepers, I'm going to do it. One, one league, I will do it. <laughs> and it'll be great. <sighs> oh, what do I do? Yeah, I mean, I'm playing this um, Harvester Misery, but that could definitely be a... Um... Could be a uh... Uh, Decay.
Yeah, Harvester would be great here. Uh, Blood Out is not as generic as I like. Was like Extinction but actually just swipes up everything, which is nice. Okay. I agree, Martin. I agree with you. Please, for the love of Jesus, give me a calling ritual. One time, please. One time, please. Maybe two times. Maybe once for this game and then once for the next game. <laughs> I'm gonna suicide bron my Bronco. Be, be, the thing about that card, Corey, is like it's already competing with like a pick your poison slot, and I'd rather have pick your poison because it takes over like the tear one asunder slot. Because like Blood Out is like literally only four. Minutes. And that's why it's kind of awkward because it's a very, very um, specific cyber card for a specific matchup for a specific part of the game. Um, versus like EE is just like a lot more versatile. Picker Poisons is a lot more versatile. So that's where like if you don't have access to like your Picker Poison, then like I can see a blood up, but then why don't you just run more events, right? I understand like the instant speed aspect is nice, but I think Extinction Emit just has a higher floor just because it can wipe up the shield reds, the the fable tokens, the blood tide harvesters, it just does it like extinguishment actually like just plague wins their whole board. I think I'm in a position where I'm just gonna suicide this Bronco because I don't think I'm gonna win this game anymore if I um Like I am at a point in the game where I just I I'm I just don't care. Oh, okay. Oh, it doesn't even wipe anything though. This is like a turn too slow. Oh, uh, actually, if this connects, I can remove this, but I'd rather just kill this. This harvester was a tad slow, I guess, huh? I guess we'll see. I could just cycle this. And then, like, this will die. I could do that. Actually, I could just let this happen. Um, it's funny that I took five from this. Um, and then I can cast this harvester and I can kill this and this. We're just gonna die to the Strix, which is hilarious. You can also just fire up the hall and attack me. The harvester was cool here, though, I will say.
How's it going, Hoist? I'm trying out Caustic Bronco and Harvester of Misery today. I will say the Harvester, the Harvester of Misery was pretty good in this spot here, though. This is kind of cool. So then I put a counter on the Strix. Removal spell, removal spell, removal spell. So I can remove counters from this. I live! <laughs> uh, but I think they can just uh, do this twice and then I die, but... Oh, I could just push this. I'm sorry. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> I'm like mentally checked out of this game already. <laughs> I apologize. I should just I should have put the push. I should have drawn the push and then push this. That's my fault. I'm so bad. <laughs> I was so done of it I'm moving the daughters. Oh man. I'm so bad at this game. I also need to end the stream anyway right now, so. Wow. GG. Okay. Let's call it here. Um. Oh, interesting. Uh, oh, that's a cool line. Yeah, yeah. I could have, I could have brought back harvester, harvestered here. Oh, but then you just died of the hall, though. You just died of the hall. So I, I, I should have just like drawn the push. Because like, if you bring back talk, oh, I guess then you just don't attack with the glissa, right? That's what you're trying to say. That makes sense. That's a cool line. I think Harvard, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah Bach a better player agreed. <laughs> so I really appreciate you today hanging out. Um I think I think most of the matches this league were just really do the variants, unfortunately, and that's kind of it is what it is. Um But I think this card has potential just based on the this is the one match that we saw it with. Bronco was cool. We did draw a lot of cards off of it, but I think this is going to be a meta call. Like, I, I just, I honestly, like, predict that the meta is going to more shift towards, like, the slick shot card, where it's just a lot of aggro, and I think that this card really suffers. But I also think that a card like Bankbuster also suffers, too. So, like, it's kind of like the same slot in the day, right? Um, so, again, we're just trying things in a vacuum. Um, I think the Broncos did, was pretty cool in drawing cards. Um, we did get a lot of... We actually got to untap with Bronco quite a few times, which uh, is pretty decent. Um, against Convoke, it was kind of awkward, but... I guess like a match like that where we just wanted to draw into something, we did draw into a 5-drop, ironically enough, so we did take 5, and that kind of mattered. But overall, like I think if we can um, get triggers off this, means that it's just less of a mana investment than like a big buster. So like, 
I think if we're going to run Broncos, I can see just pairing more removal with it, right? Just so we can clear the way of Broncos. Like, I can see running, like, more decays, um, maybe less trophies, just because you don't really want to trophy something early. Like, if you're going, like, turn one discard, turn two Bronco, you really want to be able to cast removal spawn turn three, and that's where, like, these trophies are kind of dead weight. Uh, so I think this is where having a decay, for example, would be decent. So something to think about. Um, the Glissas have felt pretty good, I think, today. Um, yeah, I, I, again, it just the meta is just in a situation where we have to wait for it to settle a little bit more before it can really attack it. So I think for now we can just try different slots, different combinations, and kind of just try things in the vacuum before we really finalize anything. So. Uh, if you want to support the channel, please hit that follow button, um, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, it's, apologies, I really haven't been able to um, stream much, but if you want to support the channel, please uh, subscribe everywhere, uh, follow everywhere, etc. Et uh, so, hope everyone take care.